Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new legends that are coming out tomorrow and I gotta say I'm pretty freaking excited to see these guys in the game. Now if you guys haven't seen my videos from earlier today make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. I uploaded a ton of videos today. This is actually my fifth video of the day. Uh, I already have Mean Joe Green gameplay up as well as me completing the Mean Joe Green set. I also have a bundle opening from earlier and went over all of the new night monster players and i went over like which players you should actually pick up so make sure you guys check out all those videos and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed at the time i'm making this video i think we're like 30 away uh from 43,000 subscribers i'm also going to be doing a pretty big giveaway pretty soon on twitter so if you guys want to follow me on twitter make sure you guys do once we have 43k subs i'm going to be doing a giveaway on twitter uh, i believe if I, if I can uh get somebody on playstation to join me i actually don't have xbox but i do want to run a pretty decent size giveaway so make sure you guys follow me on twitter well that being said let's get into the legends for this week and i gotta say it's pretty good for most feared as we have jeremy shockey starting us off now shockey has 82 speed 82 strength 87 catch amazing catching traffic though with a 94 he also has 90 spec catch 89 short run running 91 medium and an 80 run block with he's the fact that he's six of five so that's pretty solid now i do want to compare him to the other titans that we have in the game in kenlin winslow who has 86 speed with 86 excel so obviously a little bit faster uh strength of an 82 compared to winslow who only has 78 but 93 catch 90 catch on traffic the catch is better but the catch on traffic is four better for shockey so Shockey's is really going to be that guy you might want to have on a streak or just going up the seam in general and trying to take a hit from the linebacker you can probably hold on to with jeremy Shockey. now 90 spec catch compared to 93 is quite a big difference but the 91 short and 90 medium route running he actually does get medium uh he beats kellen winslow medium not in the short route running but Shockey has 80 run block compared to 76 so keep that in mind now personally my favorite tight end in the game right now is J is actually Greg Olson. Uh, he's really, really good for me, and the spec catch on him is crazy good. Now, he's 6 foot 5 as well, so the same height as Jeremy Shockey. 83 speed, 85 excel. One less speed uh, for Shockey. Don't have the acceleration, 82 strength, compared to only 74 for Greg Olson. Now, Greg does have 93 catch with 93 catch in traffic. So, Greg has one less catch in traffic, but he has 6 more regular catching 90 spectacular catch compared to greg olsen who has 91 and then 90 and 88 for the route running 89 91 but 80 run block for shockey compared to only 70 for greg olsen so overall shockey's probably the better tight end personally i don't know if i will actually pick up jeremy shockey i might have to think about it now i actually have greg olsen powered up as well which I really like this card. Uh, he is really, really good for me, especially in like the red zone and in general, like on a seam route. He catches basically everything that I high point to him. Recently, though, I did a live stream today. He did drop a couple of passes. So I might look into Jeremy Shockey or maybe even Kellen Winslow if it comes to that. Now, next up, we have Willie McGinnis, which I got to say, I'm not really impressed by this card. He does have 84 speed, 85 excel. And he's probably going to have pretty balanced uh, zone coverage. He is, you know, a Patriots player, so they kind of run a hybrid. So he's probably going to be pretty decent when it does actually come to zone coverage and stuff. But he only has 88 block shed, only has 88 power move, and 88 finesse. Now here's the thing. If you get pass rush tier 6 on him, I believe you get plus 3 power move and plus 3 finesse. So that will put him at 91 finesse move and 91 power move that's extremely balanced so that actually might help him and also his traits might be pretty good as well so maybe we'll have to look into willie mcginnis a little bit and then of course you power him up he would have 92 power move 92 finesse move uh 89 block shedding 85 speed which of course is pretty good so the only problem is that like i have lawrence taylor right as a linebacker which obviously is a way better pass rusher 86 strength 90 tackle 93 play rec but if you run a hybrid if you literally if you run the patriots defense willie mcginnis is probably the best player for you but if you run straight up pass rush, Jadavion Clowney for 276k, he has 83 speed, 87 excel, so he's not as fast as William McGinnis does have better acceleration, 86 strength, he's actually stronger than Jadavion Clowney, 
89 block shed, 92 power move though, one more block shed with four better power move which is kind of the big difference here and then of course 90 tackling compared to only 88 so it doesn't mean him a tackle but that power move not even being a 90 to start off does kind of suck for willie mcginnis then of course you want to go even higher in overall and if you want to spend a little bit more coins lawrence taylor 420k you guys can see 87 speed 91 excel so he does actually have more speed and more acceleration i believe uh yeah more excel way more excel and three more speed than willie mcginnis 92 block shed, 93 power move, block shed, power move, not even close, 86 strength, 90 tackling, one less tackle, but he has 91 strength, and then of course, uh, 93 play recognition for William McGinnis compared to play recognition of 87 for LT, but LT only has 64 zone, so he's really just gonna be uh, a pass rusher for you, so for me, I still feel like LT or Clowney are probably better than Willie, unless you do run that hybrid defense. So if you like to run a hybrid defense where William McGinnis can cover and he'll have his hand in the dirt, hand in the dirt, I feel like this William McGinnis is actually pretty solid. Besides that, though, if you just need a straight-up pass rusher, I would rather go with LT or Clowney. And the final legend that we have for tomorrow, and oh my god, I cannot believe this, we have the dick. Night Train Lane bring uh i'm not even gonna say that <laughs> not even gonna say that sentence night train lane though six foot one stats honestly don't look amazing on the back i mean they do but like kind of expect a little more from a 94 overall does have 89 speed he's 91 acceleration 93 agility 93 jumping 93 play rec only an 89 man and 90 zone coverage though with a 92 press and since he's a limited time card of course you won't be able to power him up so you're basically stuck with those stats but you get locked down cam on him of course you will have 92 man with a 93 zone which 90 is the threshold for man and zone so you're basically already at the zone coverage you just need to get locked down on him and give him the 90 man coverage with a 92 press and i cannot wait to see this man's block shit and hit power i'm sure it's gonna be off the charts uh tomorrow so if you want to compare him to patrick peterson and jalen ramsey Pat's going for 600k right now 90 speed 89 acceleration so the speed is one more uh excel is actually too high on nitro land and of course six foot one 93 agility compared to 94 now pappy does have 95 man and 89 zone so way more man and only one less zone coverage and then of course 92 press which pappy only has 90 but the block shed and hip power i'm sure on nitro lane will be insane compared to just 41 block shed six seven hip power for patrick peterson but i do have to say this as of recently i really have not seen that many fumbles in games so the block shed and hit power will be nice when stopping the run, but will it really matter when it actually comes to like causing fumbles? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Now, Jalen Ramsey's probably a little bit more of a fair comparison here. Uh, 88 speed, 89 excel. So he does have one more speed and two more acceleration over Jalen Ramsey. 93 agility with a 93 jump. Uh, Jody's only an 84 and an 87 jump in that of course he does have 93 man 92 zone so the man and zone are both better and then 92 press compared to 94 plus the block shed to 46 isn't that good but the hit power of a 76 will probably probably be like pretty close to uh night train lane and since night train lane is a limited time card i expect this card to be like 800k minimum i really don't see this card being any less than 800k night train lane is gonna be pretty expensive willie mcginnis probably gonna be about 400 500 k i don't seem to be more than that and the same thing for jeremy shockey i really just don't think they have like amazing amazing stats like if shockey had like 85 speed and like 90 catching he'd be going for a lot more than he would be and then the same thing with william mcginnis if he had like 90 power move and 90 finesse to start off this card would be going for a lot more because then you get him up to like 93 power move 93 finesse move but then of course if you have john madden you can still get some of those chem boosted uh stats just like with night train lane now the thing is will night train have one of those gems if you guys don't know what the gems are take a look at my uh mean joe green gameplay mean joe and like khalil mack these like certain chems it's like a little gem uh it does replace like sprinter so you can't really get sprinter on them if you want to use the gem but it literally just boosts their stats and you can get like plus one speed plus one excel or you can go with something else like plus block shed power move excel there's a lot of crazy little attributes on those gems but i hope you guys did enjoy the video tomorrow we have night train lane willie mcginnis and jeremy shockey coming out so of course i have a video up for you guys in the morning going over, the, going over these new players and as well i'm going to try to play all the solo challenges tonight so i can get the solo challenge rewards out for you guys tomorrow uh as you guys probably know you can't actually get 
like a free 90 overall from the solo sadly but you do get some gold or better players and then i believe you also get an elite pack at the end so you do get some pretty decent stuff once again guys once i do it 43,000 subscribers i'll have a giveaway announcement on twitter once i do find a playstation user to kind of help me out with this because i don't have a playstation myself so i'm trying to get uh, another playstation person to kind of match the card that i plan on giving away i don't want to give any you know too much away but it's a very very wanted card and i'm sure a lot of you guys could use the card on your team and trust me a lot of people would love him on their team but hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment i will see you guys next time